hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this delicious chicken quesadillas quesadillas are so amazing and I love them so let's get right to it so the first thing you'll need would be your chicken breast some jalapenos red bell pepper for some good color you'll need onions Monterey Jack cheese sharp cheddar cheese and you'll need some parsley and of course you'll be needing your tortillas you can make the tortillas yourself or you can buy it from the store i bought mine from the store okay it makes life easy for me <laughs> anyway i'm gonna be covering my surface with some cling film and i would go ahead and tenderize my meat with my meat mallet guys this is the easiest way to tenderize your meat okay it breaks down the fibers of the meat and it allows it cook really fast and you end up with really tender chicken so beat it with the flat surface do not use a jagged edge because it's gonna really really shred your chicken more than you would like but if that's what you want go for it you're the boss of your kitchen if you want to go thinner it's all up to you but half an inch of thickness is perfect so now i'm gonna go ahead and make my spice mix with some salt pepper paprika cumin mustard some garlic powder and some rosemary i'll give that a good mix and then i'll use that to season my meat guys listen i always say in my videos you are the boss of your kitchen so you can season with whatever spices that you have but this spice mix right here it is amazing it is the best for making quesadillas but you can go simple and use just salt and black pepper but where is the fun in that okay add some cumin add rosemary add any spice you have at hand it, it would make a great difference in the taste of the meat okay so now i'm gonna cover this up and let it marinate for about 15 minutes even 10 minutes is okay because the meat is so thin so while that is going i'm gonna head on over to the stove and i'll begin to cook my veggies i'll start by sauteing the onions for about a minute because i want to give it a head start so it cooks before i add the peppers okay you want to be careful not to burn your onions and i also don't like to overcook the onions because i like it to have some bites to it so i'll make sure not to let it get too mushy so after about a minute or so of cooking the onions i've, I've added my peppers then i've seasoned with some salt and black pepper you know i say in all my videos layer your flavor okay because you don't want your veggies to be tasteless so some salt and black pepper would go a long way so once i've taken the veggies off the pan i'm going to use that same pan to cook my chicken i'll be cooking my chicken for about two to three minutes on each side guys remember this is chicken breast right it cooks too fast and it has a tendency to get too dry but tenderizing it makes it cook even faster so be mindful of that two to three minutes on each side is perfect so i've squeezed some fresh lemon juice onto it the acidity from the lemon is going to help balance out all that amazing flavor in the chicken it is amazing so once my chicken is done i'm gonna take it off the pan and let it rest for at least five minutes always rest your meat guys do not cut your meat right after you take it off the pan let it rest so that the juices go back into the meat and the meat doesn't end up being too dry so now i have cut up my meat just the way i like it and once i'm done cutting it of course i'm gonna give it a taste test <laughs> guys i'm telling you it tastes so good so now it's time to build my quesadillas i'm gonna start off by layering my cheese so today like i said i'm using monterey jack cheese and sharp cheddar cheese you can use mozzarella you can use whatever cheese you have but i love this combination it is awesome so on top of the cheese goes my meat and then the peppers some parsley and some extra cheese on top of it guys listen it is your quesadilla okay so you can add as much cheese as you want so once the cheese is in there i'm gonna fold this over and head on back to the stove to cook this babies up so with some oil i'm gonna start cooking my quesadillas i'll be cooking it on medium to low heat for about two to three minutes on each side guys listen i said medium heat okay if it's too hot you're gonna end up burning your quesadillas trust me it happened to me and it was horrible it was such a waste of my time and my food so medium to low heat and flip it over when it's ready and cook the other side and once it's done take it off the pan 
cut it up and serve it on a platter and this is what mine looks like i served it up with some amazing guacamole but you can serve it with salsa or with whatever you want but i love me my guacamole <laughs> anyway thank you for watching guys leave comments in the comment section down below and let me know what you think about my quesadillas share this video like this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel now would be the perfect time to do it please go ahead and hit the subscribe button <laughs> i love you guys see you all in the next video